He just watched his old coach lose, and now he's going to try to further the score for his team. He's 1-2 and two this season, undefeated against Protoss with only one map played. Yeah, in that one matchup, he has been undefeated. And uh, looking at this guy, when I looked at this matchup, I was like, uh, I think Creator has this one pretty easily. But what you said before uh, kind of sways me, not the other way, but I feel like Hurricane has a better chance in my mind than he did originally. Hurricane is going to be up against, of course, Creator, a guy who has done so, so well. One of the best Protosses here at Pro League. He is so far 8-6 and six and 5-1 and one against Protoss. He's been changing up his PvP style a little bit. Uh, has been a lot more aggressive. You can see it in his play sometimes in PvP when it goes to late game PvP where he's like, he's like, no, defend, defend, defend. And he's like, wait a minute, no. I gotta attack this time. And he just goes for it. Uh, he's definitely switching things up a little bit. And uh, I think that makes him a little bit more dangerous. And that's what, part of the reason why he's having so much success in this matchup. The map is Outboxer, though. Two-player map, pretty small. Anything could happen here. Let's find out what exactly is going to happen right now. Down here in the bottom right in the pink again for Samsung Galaxy Con, the Protoss player, Hurricane. Formerly known as Tier into the top. Creator playing for Prime. Creator pros possibly the straightest hair in all of Pro League. <laughs> possibly the straightest <laughs> hair in the entire world. Uh, his hair is so straight, man. It's like... <laughs> It's, it's, it's incredible. It's like straighter than 180 degrees, man. It's like it's like 180.180, but you have to keep the zero because it's 180.180 degrees, man. It only makes sense if you write it that way. It only makes sense if you don't drop the zero. <laughs> so Creator has actually defeated Hurricane three times already in Heart of the Swarm, televised matches. It's funny. They were chatting before the game, and Creator was like, oh, take it easy on me. Like don't try too hard and don't uh, don't you know, be gentle. Don't yeah. don't hurt me. <laughs> well, we'll see, Creator. Gates for both dropped in the main. The and scout, of course, here for Hurricane. Yep. Hurricane dropping his point three seconds faster than Creator. Something like that. Yeah. His probe is also gonna finish. Oh no. Creator's probe does finish first. You're pointing out the minute details. And uh, this time I'll finish first for him again. Because <laughs> the yes, it will. Boost, it looks like. Double gas is going down. Or, you know, we, we, we'll hold that thought. Uh, some very attractive GG girls here. Oh, what? Oh. This is saying spring has come in yeah. a very cute way. I don't know if. Yude Hyun is actually the cute caster, or if it's Wolf. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think Wolf's the cutest caster we have here. I think so, too. Uh, I'm going to have to have a chat with her about this, about <laughs> the legitimacy of those signs that she's putting on broadcast television. You know, I, I went to the uh, the nearby convenience store down here, and I, I ran into them, and we, we said hi. We exchanged greetings. You guys had a real, we had a chat, man. audible connection with each other. We with, did. With your vocal cords. It happened. Um, wow, that's... I know you're jealous, but it's okay, Wolf. Just make sure... You're to... still the cutest caster in Pro League. Make sure to invite me to the wedding. <laughs> I will. You'll be my best man. Okay. I like that. I'll be the best man. <laughs> a probe comes in here. We'll actually identify that uh, there's a second gate coming up. And he'll be like, oh, okay, Creator. I, I, I would bet my life that a sentry's about to pop out of there. It's actually a stalker. But, uh, you know, the creator very well known for going for, you know, two gate sentry expands in this matchup in uh, Wings of Liberty. A lot less common nowadays, though, with the Mothership Core. You don't need as many sentries. That stalker stalks his way down. He's not to find the probe. The probe will actually lurk behind the neural lines to check the Nexus timing. Is that a probe or a lurker? That's the question. Ooh. I think it's both. It's a perker. 
No, that was just a pro band <laughs> lurker. Ah, oh, okay. A perker is... Let's not get into perkers, man. Okay, I won't mention it again. <laughs> Please don't ever discuss this with me again. Uh, now, I mean, as it turns out, the probe's just going to come in here and scout the main. He's going to see the gateway, going to see the Twilight Council. He knows exactly what Creator is doing here. We're going to have Blink on the way, of course. His robo is, like, done before Blink. I mean, almost before Blink has start, even started. That's not a good thing. Yeah, definitely not. He's going to start with an Observer, just to be safer. That's, like, pretty crazy. Uh, but, I mean, he didn't see that Blink was being chrono, chrono boosted after the scout died, so he doesn't know for sure if it's DT, so it's, it's kind of a safer move by him. Uh, that is a recall Nexus, or rather Mothership Pole, which now doesn't have enough energy for a Nexus Cannon later, or Time Warps when it comes to attack, and yep. can be picked off easier, so. Uh, creator, hello, could have actually maybe killed that with sentries oh, if he's man. going to. Yep, he's going to get it. Sorry, Stalker. Ouch, look at Creator's face. And that is just... That's, that's just huge. That's the kind of face I make when I lose a stalker like that too, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the losing a stalker face. So the, identifiable. Oh my <laughs> god, I just lost a stalker face. That's like the the cat that has the jaw that's open that just doesn't close face. Yeah. What's that what's that one called? Do you remember you know the cat I'm talking about? It's, its jaw just doesn't close. I you mean the one, the gif, where yeah, he yeah, like, yeah. opens and then he like moves to the side a little bit? Yeah, but he doesn't close his mouth. Yeah, God, I, I, don't I don't know, know the name called. of that cat. You can uh, send that to Wolf on Twitter. It's yeah. Proxy Wolf. Let him know about that cat. Yeah, I want to know about it as well. Yeah, send it to at Brandon Valdez. Now that we've plugged each other's Twitters. Well, I actually just want to know about the cat, honestly. You really <laughs> want to know about the cat? Well, I'm like, I don't know, man. I'll, I could Google that later, but I want Twitter followers. <laughs> I want to know about the cat, man. Um, no, but... Uh, it, in all seriousness, follow us on Twitter. We read all your tweets. Is he going to take the island base? What? Oh, my God, man. PvP look on at his, Outboxer. Look at his face, too. He knows it. He's like, I'm going to take the island base. <laughs> you know what's ironic about this is the last time he played on this map, he lost a base trade against a Zerg player in which he couldn't actually kill, uh, he couldn't actually kill um, the Zerg that was on the island. Now, yeah. what he may do here instead alternatively is make cannons in his opponent's main base that's the only alternative here or he could like in. proxy buildings on the oh yeah i guess he could make like a stargate here i this is weird man okay dark shrine okay this is this is about as fancy as it gets here guys put on your ties get your suits on yeah that was pretty weird <laughs> um I don't even think this is like necessarily good, but it's delayed his Dark Shrine, whatever he wanted to do with it, quite significantly. Creator's Blink Stalkers are moving across the map now. They're a little bit awkward and late now because they, they're up against a pretty heavy Immortal count. They also don't have any sort of high ground vision to Blink into the main. With a Hallucination combo, he could actually get in there, but I think he's just going to come over here and try to poke a little bit. Yeah. I mean, Hurricane's so ready for this. He has the double immortal here. He has sentries as well for the Guardian Shield. I think he got one probe. I think. I'm not even sure if it died or not. I mean, he might as well take the island. <laughs> He's going to do this. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to send the Observer over there, kill the creep. Yeah, that's and, what I thought uh, too. And go for the Nexus, but turns out not. The one thing that he does have on his side here is that there is no way in a million years Creator is expecting this. That's true, and Creator only has one Observer right now, which is completely on the wrong side of the map. Wow. wow. What? Star Sense. Sup. Creator's like, whoa, how did I even think of that? Well, the thing is, he probably thinks now that it's going to be like a Zealot warp in, and he doesn't have... I don't know, man. He still doesn't have any way to deal with this. That Immortal group over there is not going to be the answer. He needs another Observer, and he doesn't have one. That's his one Observer. You guys see it right there. On the left side of the map, it is near his natural, but here comes that DT right into the main. Does Creator notice? Yes, he does. He pulls away the probes. He is going to get this DT that's big. Yeah, let's see how much damage he gets here. A few probe kills. I think two in total. He's going to save the DT, or try to. Nope. The stalkers just want to give him a big hug. <laughs> wow, he that was really nicely controlled by Hurricane. Not only did he, or rather by Creator, 
not only did he kill the DT, but almost got the Warp Prism too. He focused that, knowing that if he gets that, he gets both. So that was pretty, pretty nice and micro there. Maybe some playing some Heroes of the Storm on that micro. <laughs> Here's the Storm, a very fun game. We've been playing that a lot recently. Yeah. Past two days yeah. since it came out. Definitely, uh, definitely been fun. Probably playing some more tonight. Yeah. Probably going to stream it as well, so you guys can watch us there. A yeah. bunch of different people streaming that, if you are interested in that If thing. you're interested in that. But we are here at StarCraft right now. There are StarCraft characters in that game. There are. Kerrigan's in that game. For some reason, Tastar never dies. <laughs> so true. He uh, never dies. He just doesn't die. Well, this this little move out here... This is a very strong push out of Creator. This is not like Creator at all. I mean, he's actually just going to move across the map and attack at a timing that that is, like, very threatening to his opponent. And we'll see how Hurricane responds. He's actually got a Zealot Coalition with a DT over there. Going to force a cancel on Creator's next. Creator now has to make a choice. Uh, Creator, that's only half your army, man. That is not, not where you want to be. And uh -oh. charge for both players. Hurricane is charging after. He wants to engage. Um, Creator's not looking at his army. Nice force this? field's going down. Time Warp as well. And Creator's is, actually fighting this. this you know, the Time crazy. Warp goes down, and the Photon Overcharge comes down, and Hurricane is forced to back off, but... Well, that was weird. Um, he had to cancel his Nexus anyways. He fought with an army that didn't have Blink Stalkers, but still like contested Hurricane's base. But Hurricane is mining from three bases now. He's still warping in units. He's killing a Stalker. He's going to kill his cannon. Well, not quite. But with the next warp in, he probably could. Even this Zealot over here, just checking the timing of that base. Double Immortal Drop comes in. This could do a lot of damage. Yeah, definitely could, especially if he attacks at the meantime. Doesn't Ooh. look like he's going to, but he is going to come in here and get this pylon that's powering four gateways. And actually <laughs> kills the pylon, or the, the probe that was going to build more pylons. Yep. He did cancel that somehow. It was pretty quick uh, reaction time there. Um. <laughs> Immortals microing against Zealots. Pretty good micro regardless is going to be able to get out there. That one Immortal taking a bunch of damage, though. Creator is pretty significantly ahead in army. Uh, he's about 20 army supply up right now, which is part of the reason why uh, I would say that you know, he won that fight. It looks like a few stalkers did get picked off here by Hurricane, so that's going to change things a little bit. But, I mean, he had all of his stalkers at home and was still able to like, beat Hurricane in the fight, beat him into submission, make him retreat. Now, an immortal can two-shot a probe, so with two immortals, you can one-shot a probe. and doing damage pretty quickly here. Uh-oh. This is some cute micro out of Creator, just getting him uh, even further ahead. You know, reality has, uh, not reality, Hurricane has caught up a bit in uh, army supply here. Only 10 down, but still down this is important. Yeah, uh, plus three is much ahead for for Hurricane with all the chrono boosts that we're seeing Creator use on that. He's caught up quite a bit. So there's only gonna be a small window where plus three is ahead for Hurricane. And I don't think that it's gonna be for a long enough period of time for him to capitalize on it because his army is so small comparatively right now. There's not going to be any time as he can like unlock. Now the Colossus count is much better for Creator. The Archon count and the Immortal count is better for Hurricane. And uh, I mean, look at how many Immortals he has here. I think he has seven right now. Seven right there at least on screen. So he has seven at least. Now if he can get on top of the Colossi, which with a, a Warp Prism coming with the army, it gets a little bit easier. We'll see. Yeah, even built the second uh, War Prism. Unless he missed his, uh, or lost his first one. I think he did lose that. Uh, yeah, we do see there. He does have only one War Prism with this now. But regardless, going to be very good for Micro. Creator does have a ton of Zealots here, as well as those three uh, Colossi. We're going to have to see how this fight goes. Here we go. Guardian Shield goes up. He splits, spreads, moves around. And War Prism so far just being used for uh, reinforcements. He needs to save that Mothership Core. That was like a bit stressful, man. Look at this warping in there, but nice counter warp in here for Creator doing a bunch of damage. Here's the engagement. Hurricane not too confident is going to back off. Oh and actually my god, he recalls. Recall. That's Come almost like here. pressing the GG button because, you know, the, if the ar army composition for Creator is better than yours right now, and how is how are things going to get better for you? Uh, you have to buy a ton of time. And the old creator would have just sat at home, but the new creator, no. 
He's coming right now. He has more Colossi. He has range. You're trying to switch into Colossi. Bridge is going to veto this base. He's yeah. going to make the executive decision. This base should not be here anymore. He's going to attack Colossi in the front. They're taking a bit of damage, but so many Zealots here in the front for Creator taking so much damage. The four Colossi in the back. Creator's army just looks undefeatable right now for 50 Hurricane. 50 supply up in army, and he is crushing Hurricane's army here. No more probes. This base is toast, and that is going to be it. He's just going to come over here and end it. 100 supply up nearly right now. Still has that better siege composition with these Colossi. And DTs are the answer for Hurricane, at least what he's trying to use as his answer. But I don't think it's going to be a game changer here. Harassment also currently being shut down. Here come those DTs. Well, they're going to do a bunch of damage, but not enough. I mean, already down to 40 supply here is Hurricane. Where's the Observer, though, for Creator? <laughs> Five, five DTs is basically the army of Hurricane right now. Does he have it yet? No. I mean, he's not going to be able to come back with this, but it's just a bit appalling. Well, he does clean up the army here of Creator, but there's not much left here for Hurricane. 20 supply. There's GG. the GG. Creator taking the first win for Prime here. And further... Making Kanata look silly with his predictions. All the guys on the prime bench trying to give two-handed high fives. Creator just wanted to do one-handed high fives at first, but then did switch. He's thinking about uh, where the uh, camera is and gives us a little nice heart there. Thanks, Creator. Look, I'm wearing those prime pajama pants. Get those at your home and shopping. And uh, Gerard looking pretty serious it's here. Iffy. He looks iffy. I don't know what you mean by that, but I kind of see what you mean. Spiffy. Oh, I think you said iffy.